turn the weird hi everybody it's rose and if you're a subscriber of mine you're probably wondering where the hell have i been i think the last video i uploaded might have been two and a half three weeks ago and of course i didn't get a video uploaded on saturday like I've attempted to do for the past couple months. This is going to be a quick like life update, me explaining what's been happening to me, if you haven't realized. If you don't follow me on any other social media, like Instagram and Twitter, um, me providing an explanation and uh, updating you on some new things in my life. And then at the end of this we'll have my June favorites. I know it's in a close to the end of July. Why don't I film my July favorites? I won't because I'm anal and uh yeah I'm just gonna do June. And so for those of you who don't give a crap who aren't subscribed to me or just don't care to listen about my personal life updates I will annotate the time that you can fast forward to right here um in case you don't want to listen to me babble for however long first off i was really stressed out three weeks ago and did not get a video uploaded uh i originally planned on filming my june favorites two and a half three weeks ago almost um but didn't get a chance to because i was preparing for my first real vacation this year um, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, mainly Instagram, which you should because you've seen a crap ton of pictures and videos already from my trip, but I actually just got back from Europe, um, a few days ago, and I was in Europe for 10 days. And this is just hilarious timing, I think, because a lot of YouTubers I'm subscribed to were either in different cities than me at the same time that I was in Europe or they just got back but when I got there or just got back to the states when I got there and some YouTubers that I'm subscribed to um just got to Europe after I left so I just thought the timing of this was just really funny but yeah I spent three and a half days in London England and then the following three days um in Paris France and then the last three days were in Rome Italy and of course, I took a crap ton of pictures, and I vlogged. Now, I didn't really film myself, because if I daily vlog for something, I, I kind of, I don't really have a problem filming myself, but this vacation is something that I don't want to forget. It was more for myself, like a video diary, so most of my footage is going to be of the sites and stuff. Um, you're not going to see me that much throughout it, but... If you're not a subscriber, and if you'd like to see my footage from my trip, and like, I think I might, if you're subscribed, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, do you recall my Orlando, um, missionary trip little series that I did, um, a year and a half ago, I think? Yeah. Um, where I had all these clips from my stay in Orlando at Disney. But I intermingled, intertwined, intermixed current clips of myself, like, talking kind of, like, right here. Um, recounting specific memories that, you know, were not captured with my camera. I think my, my Europe series is going to be kind of sort of filmed with that. Maybe with not that many clips, because a lot of the clips I got are pretty self-explanatory. But I think I want to include, like, some tips for people and explain you know, how I got this opportunity to go on this trip. Um, I actually went with the tour group. And, um, I don't know, just give little anecdotes here and there that I think might be helpful for someone who may be thinking of going to Europe, even if you plan on going solo, or using, like, a tour company. I hate when I go long periods of not filming because this feels a little bit awkward right now. So, I actually just got back, um, six days ago. And, yeah, I've been incredibly jet-lagged. I, probably every single night that I've been back in the States, I've passed out without having to take my sleeping pills. Now, if you're a subscriber of mine, you would know what that means. And, uh, yeah, I'm still adjusting. This is probably not going to go up for another couple of days to kind of make up 
one of these weeks, I'm going to try to put up like four videos. And oh, oh, just so you can anticipate this vlog series, I kind of sort of have... possibly four videos that might go up before I start this vlog series, FYI. But still, if you're not subscribed and you want to catch that series, then definitely become a part of my random family. It's a personal life update. In today's the 23rd. In roughly eight days, I'm going to be beginning the whole strenuous, stressful process of moving. Yes. I'm moving into an apartment. I'm going to start moving my things out on the 1st of August. And I probably won't be completely moved in until like mid-August or closer to the end. But yeah, so this background is going to completely change. It's going to probably definitely change to more white, more boring. And uh, I am moving in with someone. And he is aware of my YouTube, but I don't think he's as aware of just how involved I am with it. So probably the first few months of me filming it's going to be when he's not around. I'm going to have to slowly introduce this film. So now let me get into possibly what you guys may be more interested in. My June favorites. It's going to be an interesting mixture. I can't really think of everything off the top of my head but I know there's going to be of course random stuff, some makeup, and some nail polish. That's all I can recount right now. So let me get started. <laughs> I got two nail polishes, um, which both I have Instagrammed, but this first one is a julep one, and it's called Cam, and my camera's probably not going to focus on it, but it's basically a really pretty, like, mint, sea foamy green. Um, this polish lasted on me forever, like, almost two weeks, but yeah, I got a lot of compliments when I wore this. And then this is actually the first polish from this brand that I've tried, um, the Maybelline Color Show, and uh, I featured this in a recent haul. Now I know this is definitely not going to focus, but I don't know. I guess it is. No, no, it's not. But anyway, the fact that it's not kind of helps because you can see just how glittery this is. But this color is called Gilded Rose, and it has like gold silver and rose gold color uh different size glitters in it this is really pretty um if you're into that whole rose gold look i definitely recommend this polish and these are actually really cheap and to kind of go along with the polish now this is filthy because when i was traveling from london to paris on the eurostar train my toner decided to explode in my toiletry bag so um and it's like dual phase it has like a powder and you have to shake it up so that's what this like crusty white pinkish white stuff is but anyway i was reminded just how much i love this top coat by julep it's the freedom polymer top coat it leaves a gel like finish now i know for some people this doesn't really work out for them but for me it does i paint it on my nails it dries in five minutes flat i can do everything I'm not left handicapped and helpless because my nail polish is still wet. But yeah, absolutely love this. I did travel with this and uh, was able to paint my nails. And then 10 minutes later, uh, I think it was in Rome that I painted my nails. Yeah, 10 minutes, no, no, it was in Paris. 10 minutes later, went on about my day. <laughs> The next two things are beauty tools. Now, I featured these two things probably in one of my first favorites videos from like two years ago, but I was just reminded just how fabulous these two eyeshadow brushes are, mainly because these got really filthy and I got lazy, did not wash them, and so I like resorted to a Real Techniques brush that I had, which works really well. It does. I almost featured that as a favorite, but once I washed these and started using these again, I felt like I had to talk about these. This is kind of like a crease brush, um, one that you would pack color on. And this is by a company called Artistry, which is affiliated with Amway. This brush I've had for seven years. 
It has never shed on me. Works fabulous. And fairly inexpensive. But I absolutely love this brush. And then, this brush I featured um, on my Lovocracy, which I have not been on that app in forever, but like in one of my collections. Um, this is a long comb. This is very old because their current brushes are black now. So I can't really recall what exactly number this is. But this is their blending brush. Again, I've had this since probably 2008. So six years now. Still works fabulous. Now long comb brushes are more expensive. I think this is like $25, $26. But it's the only blending brush that I use. Works fabulous. <laughs> Now this I kind of feel bad for showing because I think it's a discontinued product. Um, when I've talked about this before and like looked for a link to put in the description box to a previous video, I wasn't able to find it. Um, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because it was a really good um, lip moisturizer. It actually had a good pigment to it, which unfortunately there's nothing... <laughs> This is going to be my next empties video. There's nothing left. But this is was it. This was the Elf Cosmetics Mineral Lip Treatment in the color Guava. Um, that band right there is pretty close to like what the actual color was. This stuff was fabulous. Kept my lips moisturized. I was able to wear this by itself. Now I don't know if the mineral line is like the three dollar or the five dollar whatever. If it is, I wouldn't say this product is really that worth it. If it's a dollar, I would say it's worth it because this basically lasted me for like a month, I think. But yeah, but if you get your hands on this, I think the only place I can find these were like eBay. And the last thing, makeup item, I should say, that I still need to do a review video on. I just haven't filmed myself applying it yet. I've filmed plenty of videos of myself wearing it this video currently um is the revlon photo ready foundation my color is 008 golden beige which is a little bit too light for me by warming up with bronzer and stuff this foundation is not mattifying now i do have to use this with a mattifying base um if i don't i do get oily after a couple hours not quite as bad as the revlon nearly naked foundation did me but still i do still get oily um, but with the combination of using a mattifying makeup base and a mattifying powder, I don't hate this foundation. A main reason is I have never gotten so many compliments on my skin in natural light, like at work or out in public somewhere, as I have with this foundation. Now, people have complained about it having sparklies. The funny thing is, is that when I put this on, I usually put it on the back of my hand. And this does have a pump, which is nice. And it's a one fluid ounce of product. I can see like little shimmers on my hand, but they never translate to my face. So I don't know what people ever complain about because I can never see them on my face. I still love the whipped more. I almost feel like if I can mix this with the whipped, it would be a perfect combination. <laughs> If you're a subscriber of mine, you would know that I belong to a lot of survey reward sites where you get compensated with like Amazon gift cards, stuff like that. One that I love is called Sandbox. Now, these people are serious because they will call you if you don't have the app, you know, properly put on your phone. But you basically have to download an app and you get emailed these surveys and stuff. And I think they don't notate like the things that you do exactly like what websites you go to the text messages you send but they just notate the time that is spent but this app um sandbox which is associated with survey swipe which is it's not going to focus but it's that right there basically looks like that i have never like redeemed 25 dollar amazon gift cards as fast as I have on this app. Like within a week, I was able to get a $25 gift card to Amazon, which I thought was fabulous. Next random favorite would be my phone. Now, you've seen this phone before, because I talked about it months ago when I first got my hands on it. This is the, the Motorola Droid Max HD, 
with the upgraded version from the one that I talked about before. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'm just promoting the hell out of it, the thing that I love about this phone is just how awesome the camera is. Go to my Instagram, look at my pictures, especially my Europe pictures. There is no filter, no editing done whatsoever with the pictures. Um, the camera on this side, I think it's 10 megapixels, and then I think the front facing might be three. The next fabulous thing about this phone is the battery life. When you charge it fully, it can last for 48 hours without you having to charge it. Um, and that's with you not excessively using it, like streaming video or whatever. I've had it last that long. I can actually go about my day, crash at a friend's house, and not have to worry about charging my phone, because when I wake up the next morning, it's going to still be fine. I've been using my phone since 6 a.m. this morning, and I have streamed video. I've done a lot on it, sent emails and stuff. It is now after 10 p.m., so that's 16 hours. My phone is on 33%. I freaking love this phone. I don't see myself, unless an upgraded version of this comes out, I don't see myself ever changing phones. Oh, next fabulous thing. The body is made of Kevlar material, even though I do have like a bumper case on this. Um, Kevlar material, I've dropped this in the street on concrete. The screen is Gorilla um, scratch resistant glass. Again, I've dropped this pretty high on the street where it landed face down my screen is still perfect and then it's also water resistant fabulous the next thing i have to talk about is kind of a boring adult thing that may not appeal to young people but if you if you're an adult who would like to like find out your credit score but with a company that's absolutely free that's incredibly accurate with no credit cards involved I think it's called Credit Karma. Definitely check that website out. You can register with them. Don't have to input no credit card information. And the introductory info they provide is legit credit score information along with what's on your credit report, like debts or collections and stuff like that. Credit Karma, check them out. The next thing, unfortunately, is kind of dirty, but I Instagram this is a magazine surreal beauty magazine if you follow me on instagram you would know why um a part-time job that i kind of have is i believe it or not i freelance model and i specialize in pinup but amazingly this photography magazine i got published in um actually use a modeling picture that's not pinup one of my favorite pictures um, this is the black and white edition, and I am on page 42. There's that horrible glare. One of my favorite pictures that I've done with uh, Zach Robinson Photography. But Surreal Beauty, this is from one of their June issues. Um, I don't know if you care to order this, I'm sure you'd still be able to. The issue 62. Thank you, Surreal Beauty. Two more random favorites and then I'm done. Uh, this video is probably going to be really long unfortunately, but that's not anything new. A couple of YouTubers I love, I don't know if I've talked about them before, but they're, they're this fashionable couple. The wife is a Filipino, and she's a hairstylist with Chaz Dean, who created Wynn, and the guy, Jesse, he's like this awesome fashion photographer, but Annalie and Jesse, I will link their channel below. Their vlogs are fabulous, they do hauls, they're hilarious, just too cool, swanky, fashionable. Um, they live in LA, but I feel like they, they look like they fit more in like with New York City, which they do visit very often. Um, fabulous YouTubers, and they actually, they talk back to their subscribers. I have actually had the chance, um, or had them actually respond to my comments twice. Um, and then they also, they follow me on Google+. Plus which I think is interesting. The last random favorite, it's kind of a boring one, but it's something that has changed my life for the better recently, and it's a general favorite. It's just water. I have drank so much more water in the past couple of months to the point where it had, it had had a positive effect on my skin. My skin has been more clear, and it hasn't been as dry. I actually had days where I took a shower, forgot to put on lotion, if you're a subscriber of mine, you would know that I don't have eczema, 
but I think I'm a pretty pretty close candidate because I normally have to put lotion on every day otherwise my skin will flare up itch and turn red I've had days where I did not have to put lotion on my skin did not get ashy did not itch did not get irritated and I believe it's due to the incredible amounts of water that I've been drinking so a general generic random favorite of mine would have to be water and this is it for my update where the hell have I been? News, new news about myself slash June favorites video. If you continue to till the end, thank you very much. And yeah, this is Rose. And thank you so much for watching this crap. If you're not already a part of this random family, please subscribe and become a part of it. And uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. You can message me, but I honestly very rarely check my YouTube messages, so a comment would be better. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day. You will see me, and you will see me again very soon. Bye.